guys, my name is Rachel. Thanks for joining us on this rainy afternoon. We're here to talk about an animal that doesn't have to worry too much about getting wet. This is Myrtle the tortoise. That you thought I was gonna say turtle. Myrtle is a desert tortoise um, native to the United States. We find these guys places like um, Arizona, New Mexico, California, um, and kind of neighboring areas there. Now, being in the desert, Myrtle has to be specially adapted to survive in an environment that's very hot and doesn't have a lot of water. So if we take a look at her, we can see she has a number of features that help her with this. If we look at all these scales she has along her body, we'll notice that they're really thick looking. Those help her avoid um, really high temperatures and they also help her body hold in moisture so she doesn't get all uh, dried out and dehydrated very easily. Her front legs are also very powerful um, and she has strong nails on the ends of them that kind of act like shovels. So if you've ever gone down in a basement on a hot day to cool off, that's exactly what Myrtle does. So during the summer months, these guys dig burrows down into the soil a couple feet where it's much cooler and then they kind of ride out the warm temperatures until it's a little bit nicer for them to be outside. They also have to be really creative in how they find water because it doesn't rain very much in the desert. So they do this in two main ways. These guys have a great memory, so if it does rain, they can remember where they found water in the past. So when it starts to rain again, they'll start heading over in that direction and take a nice big drink. The other thing that they do is they get a lot of water from the foods that they eat. Now Myrtle is an herbivore, which means that she eats only plants. What kind of plants does she find in the desert? Cactus, right? So cactus, when it rains, they suck up as much water as they can and they hold it in their leaves. And then Myrtle comes along after the cactus has done all the hard work for her and she munches on those leaves and takes in that water and stores it in her body and that can hold her over until the next time that it rains. So while we're out here soggy, uh, Myrtle doesn't have anything to worry about. It sounds kind of nice right about now. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Stay dry out there.